Let's review notes on lines. Your circle note, if it has a line going through it, we say every good boy does fine on a line. So here we have an E for every. This note, every good is a G. This note, every good boy is a B, 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 B. And this note, every good boy does is a D, 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 D. And then this note, every good boy does F, 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 fine. And F. Notice how I write the pitches, the names of the pitches, super close to the circles. When you write notes into your music, please make sure that you're writing it close to the circles so that your eyes get used to looking at the music notes. All right, so let's go on to the next uh, slide in here. Ooh, will it let me go? No, it won't. Ah, how do I fix this? Yay, I got it. <laughs> All right, notes on spaces. If your circle note has a line above, a line below, it's on a space. How to remember notes on spaces. Take out your treble clef hand. F, A, C, E, face on a space. Say it again. F, A, C, E, face on a space. So this note is a F, right? It's on the first space, F. This one, F, A. It's an A on the second space. This note, F, A, C is on the third space. And this note, F, A, C, E is on the fourth space. Now, we know these notes from hot cross buns. If this isn't B, where would we put it? You would draw that note right here, right? Every good boy, our B would be right here. B, and let me check my note, hold on. B, B, and then this note is an A. It's on a space, F, A. B. And then this note, G, is one step lower. It's on the second line. So we have B, A, G. Let's go on. Let's play hot cross buns. It has these notes. Take out, <laughs> take out your paper, take out your recorder, pause the video if you need to pause it. And let's play hot cross buns. If I hold my recorder correctly, it looks like this. I'm going to be your mirror. Take your left hand, put your thumb over the thumb hole, one over one. Actually, before we play our B, I actually want to do a rhythm with you. So take your left hand, thumb on the thumb hole, one on the first hole. This is B. My turn, your turn. I'm going to do t, 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 t. I'm going to blow gently into the recorder. You copy my pattern. Your turn. I'm going to keep the B and I'm going to change the rhythm. I'm being your mirror. I'm holding my recorder wrong. Your hand on this side should be covering thumb and one. My turn, your turn. Did you do it? My turn. Your turn. Keep B. Let's add our second finger. Get your A ready. This is A. It should sound like this. And when you look at the music note, it looks like this note on the second space. So get your A ready. 
my turn, your turn. I'm being your mirror. Your hand on this side is covering thumb one and two. You actually don't ever need to pick up that first finger with any of these beginning songs in recorder. Okay, so keep thumb and one down. We add our second, we have A. I'm gonna blow gently and do a rhythm with my ta 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 tongue. My turn, your turn. Good, let's do another rhythm. Let me get that out of the way. There we go. All right, so as thumb and one is down, we have A, another rhythm. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. And now, let's play a G. How do we get to G? We have right hand. I'm sorry, your left hand. Your left hand. Take your thumb and one and two. And now you add your third finger. If it doesn't sound right, make sure you're not doing this. Sometimes kids put their hand up weird. Have your fingers just go right across and squish those holes. My turn, your turn. Your turn. You know what also helps? Your right hand, put that thumb right behind the recorder here. And by squeezing and squishing the holes and putting this thumb here, you really get a good seal on your holes. My turn, your turn on G. job. Now let's add another note. We just played B and we played A and we played G. When you get to the fourth song, Skin and Bones, we have a note E. Let's just try and get a sound with E. E is left hand, thumb, one, two, and three. And then with your right hand, you have to put down two fingers. So that's G and that's E. You have to blow super duper lightly. Try that with me. If you're getting a funny sound, check your first finger. Sometimes that rolls off the hole and you don't get a good sound. So if you're not getting a good sound, double check. Thumb, one, two, and three. And you should see circles right on the pads of your fingers. If you see circles on the tips, you're not sealing the holes with the right spot. My turn, your turn on E. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. And notice the recorder's just on my lips. I'm blowing gently. And I t, t, t behind my teeth to get that sound. Let's try one more series of E's. Excellent job. Now go to the recorder song that you are ready to practice. If you haven't played much, go with hot cross buns. If you've passed hot cross buns, go on to whatever song you are up to practicing. 